Bismillahirrahmanirrahim uh, Assalamu alaikum Welcome to my channel Pharmacology Made Easy Today we will discuss about uh, antidiarrheal agent At first discussing the antidiarrheal agent we have to know what is diarrhea Diarrhea is a passage of loose water is told more than 3 times per day or somebody tells more than 200 gram of stool which is produced per day is known as diarrhea there are three kinds of diarrhea one is acute water diarrhea another one is dysentery and another one is persistent diarrhea acute water diarrhea is uh, long lasting less than 14 days and it may be occurs due to some infectious agent and there is a severe dehydration occurs in acute water diarrhea in case of dysentery there is a blood passing through the stool and that, uh, that may be the cause of different types of bacterial agent may cause the bloody diarrhea or dysentery the persistent diarrhea is the diarrhea that occurs more than 14 days and which occurs due to ibs inflammatory bowel disease that is Crohn's disease ulcerative colitis etc so now what is the management plan of diarrhea the management plan of diarrhea is non-specific therapy and specific therapy in non-specific therapy we used oral dehydration salt and some drugs we can use that drugs are called the anti-diarrheal agent and the specific therapy is for the infectious diarrhea that is the antibiotics are used as specific therapy to correct the dehydration we use some inf uh, infusion agent that is cholera saline and uh, uh, also the correction of cause sometimes may be needed in case of management of diarrhea so now in this video we will discuss about anti diarrheal agent now if we start the anti diarrheal agent the first drug uh, that is the opioid agonist we called it anti-secretory or anti-motility agent in opioid agonist there are some drugs one is loperamide that is used nowadays the codeine that is obsolete nowadays diphenoxylate totally obsolete nowadays and eluxadolin has some role which act as an opioid agonist to control the diarrhea now in this video we will discuss about only the loperamide in Bangladesh the loperamide the trade name of loperamide is Imotil loperamide we give 2 milligram 4 times daily to control the diarrhea loperamide loperamide is a non prescription medicine or sometimes it is a OCD drug it does not cross the blood vein barrier and does not produce the central nervous system effect and no analgesic properties have them so loperamide is a opioid agonist that acts on the mu receptors in centrally and peripherally but it does not cross the blood vein barrier and does not produce the central nervous system effect and does not causes the analgesic properties so loperamide there is no chance of ad addiction by using the loperamide because itself it is a opioid agonist it does not causes euphoria hallucination or sometimes deletion or sometimes the uh, hesitation or uh, depression does not occurs by using the loperamide so loperamide does not produce the central nervous system effect as far it has no analgesic properties but it is a opioid agonist the loperamide causes constipation the opioid agonist causes constipation here the constipating effect of the loperamide is used in diarrhea or in preventing the diarrhea especially we use the two mechanism of action of loperamide to control the diarrhea one is anti-motility action and another one is anti-secretory action how the anti-motility action develops by using loperamide loperamide increase the colonic segmenting activity by inhibit the presynaptic release of acetylcholine in the myenteric and submucosal plexus so as a result there is no colonic mass movement and there is 
no gastrocolic reflex and that's why the colonic transit time may be increased and ultimately it also causes the fluid absorption from the intestine that's why the water is not secreted into the colon and the chloride is not secreted into the colon and this is the anti-secretory properties or anti-secretory mechanism of action of lopinamide so lopinamide has two action one is anti-motility and another one is anti-secretory so lopinamide by producing its anti-motility action and also its anti-secretory action, it prevents the diarrhea. Mainly lopramide is used in traveler's diarrhea. We also used in acute watery profuse diarrhea. But it has some limitation. Because lopramide, if we give it in infectious diarrhea, it may cause toxic megacolon. As, uh, as far as we know, the lopramide causes increase the fluid absorption from the intestine or colonic segment the bowel is impacted over there so over impaction of the bowel causes the bacterial overgrowth over the colon when the bacterial growth over the colon in case of infectious diarrhea there will be produce a toxic megacolon so this is the important adverse effect of toxic megacolon the contraindications of loperamide is loperamide cannot be given in infectious diarrhea because it causes the toxic megacolon so this is the important drug uh, uh, as a antidiarrhealism that is loperamide the second one is colloidal bismuth compound we discuss it later the bismuth subsalicylate and bismuth subsalicylate potassium Another one is bile salt binding resin, just is cholestyramine, cholestipol and cholecivellum. It uh, does not uh, used in uh, diarrheal cases because it has some limitations and it has some uh, adverse effect. Nowadays we use uh, resica dotril. Resica dotril is a peripheral encephalinase inhibitor. It is a pro-drug and which action is anti-secretory, it inhibits the encephalinase peripherally. So, the endogenous encephalin that is degraded by the encephalinase will not be degraded because of resicadotil inhibit the encephalinase and increase the concentration of encephalin which produce or which acts on the mu receptors and causes constipation or decrease the colonic motility and decrease the water secretion into the colon and produce anti-secretory action and helps in prevention of acute watery diarrhea or helps to control the acute watery diarrhea. The adverse effect of resica dotil is simple, it causes the drowsiness. Another drug we used as anti agent that is octreotide. It is a somatostatin analog and this somatostatin analog we can use it intravenously, subcutaneously or intramuscularly. When we use it intravenously, it uh, half-life is 1.5 hours. When we use it subcutaneously, its half-life is uh, 6 to 12 hours and when we use it intramuscularly, its half-life is once monthly and it is a long acting. The action of octreotide to prevent the diarrhea, it inhibits the fluid secretion and inhibits the pancreatic secretion and that's why the there is uh, there is an anti-secretory action of octreotide, uh, octreotide that prevents the or controlling the diarrhea. It has some adverse effect of octreotide. Octreotide uh, has uh, much more adverse effect. It causes uh, anorexia, nausea, uh, flatulence, uh, abdominal pain over the abdomen and sometimes it causes uh, hypothyroidism because it inhibits the uh, anterior pituitary hormones. Uh, that's why hypothyroidism may occur and uh, that produces bradycardia and hypotension and also octreotide uh, produce uh, sinus uh, bradycardia so these are the important drug used as anti diarrheal agent but in next class we will discuss about colloidal bismuth compound and bile salt binding resin so thank you thank you all